Let's talk about Vivek Ramaswamy because we have this uh, we have this clip here from Tucker as well. Vivek tweeted a clip. I want to play for you guys. I'll just play it. You know, my parents came to this country with almost no money. I've gone on to found multi-billion dollar companies. And then people tell me, oh, that's because you had privilege. <laughs> they tell me white privilege. It's sort of weird. It's sort of an interesting. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Do you, do you tell them? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's great. I, 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 I take the blindfold off. <laughs> and, and, and do I, you I, tell I them? <laughs> but, but the interesting answer is, actually what I do tell them, Tucker, is that I did have privilege. I didn't grow up in money. But I had two parents in the house, a mother and a father, with a focus on education and a faith in God. And you know what? That is the ultimate privilege. That if I'm going to enjoy that, every kid in this country ought to enjoy it too. So we have, from that clip, and the reason I wanted to play it is I'm going to refresh for you right now the prediction markets for the GOP presidential nomination, which currently has Vivek Ramaswamy at 13 cents. Ron DeSantis at 15 and Trump at 62. Trump, the clear front runner. Let's refresh and see where we're at. And... Vivek has dropped down by one cent. Ron DeSantis has gone up by one cent. These things are very much in flux, considering uh, the, these clips are still going around right now. But Vivek Ramaswamy is, has skyrocketed. I mean, if we take a look at this, let's go to 90 days in the prediction market. Take a look at this. He's jumping. He is climbing the ranks. DeSantis is dropping down rather quickly. I do think, and these, again, these are not polls. But I think the people who are tracking the political landscape who are making bets on what is going to, uh, what the outcome is going to be, I think we're very close to seeing Vivek Ramaswamy take second place relatively soon. I think that like what like what Vivek said uh, at the very end, like I'm an agnostic and I agree with him. <laughs> like, oh, hands down, you that know, clip was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Fam family and I, privilege. That's why he's advancing in the polls like this because he speaks. I think that he speaks in a very. Um, authentic way he doesn't sound like a politician i don't think or at least he doesn't come across like a politician to people because he does sound very polished but i don't feel like he's just delivering the the a narrative kind of line um and maybe that's my own personal opinion because i i'm rather i find his 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 arguments compelling so i, I like listening to him I yeah mean, I, I think all his arguments are compelling i just everything he his uh, he wants to dismantle the government in various pieces, and I think what he says a lot is some smart solutions. So I'm happy that he's getting this out to get a little bit more name recognition. And I'm surprised that DeSantis has fallen so much, but you know he has so much negative attention now that I mean with with Disney, whether you're right or wrong, and his anti cannabis, whether that's right or wrong, he's just kind of like just yeah. just driving it into the ground. Yeah, you know, look, don't ask me why. You know, I've got my opinions on on these things, but uh, what I've been saying to many DeSantis supporters is just look at the prediction markets and the polls. He's going down. OK, uh, that is not for me wanting to happen. I think he's he's an excellent leader who really has ear to the ground on all these issues. But I think he's doing a very terrible job campaign wise. But even if you think I'm wrong, I, I just I'm, I'm curious why he's in this decline. If you ignore it, it'll only get worse.